Assalamu alaikum bokai welcome back to the Jello Football Bantaba YouTube channel the home of Gambian football I am Chama and this is the Scorpions weekend recap a program where we look at the key performance by Gambian professional players in their respective clubs over the weekend so if you enjoy the content on the Jello Football Bantaba YouTube channel please consider liking this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so without further ado, guys, let's get right into the discussion. Today, we start our discussion in England. Um, Ibo Adams, um, he has been impactful since he moved to Derby County. Uh, we know he is on loan from Cardiff City. And um, this weekend, they were in action. He played his first 90 minutes. This is his fourth start, by the way. Fourth start for Derby County. Um, since he since he has since he started starting for them, he ha they have not lost a game. They have won three games and then they drew one. This weekend was no different. They won the game in the 98 minute, which was a very very important win for for Derby County. Sibley came off the bench to score in the 98 minute for them, but Ibo Adams was a story in the game because he was so so good in that game. Um, he won 12 duels for for his club, and then um he won um seven fouls as well in the game he was very he was all over the place you know he was everywhere I, I would rather say rather than all over the place he was everywhere in the game making blocks again tackles winning a lot of tackles winning his dwells his one-on-one -on -one dwells and all those kind of things yeah to the point that um Derby ended up writing something in their in the, in their socials because they were so impressed with him and the fans are already falling in love with with his you know with the impact he's having on their team so yeah Derby now sits second in the they are still second they are still second in league one and uh with the chance like with the hope and in the, with the chance of you know getting promotion to the championship we all remember Derby. there were times they were in the premier league they were you know um they had some good seasons in the championship but over the last few years they have struggled a bit and then they went down to to league one but Ibo adam's impact is he hasn't gone unnoticed um the Derby fans have realized it and then the Derby, you know social media can't have realized like like they say never never fall in love with a player on loan he's only on loan but like like the way the club is um, treating him right now it will not be a surprise if they try to you know turn this loan deal into a permanent deal which will be uh which will be a good thing especially if they gain the promotion into the championship because that's where Ibu adams was meant to be playing in with cardiff but due to many reasons including injuries you know change of coaches and all what, what not settling in at derby at, at cardiff rather he has not really realized that um uh, you know that target of playing in the championship or, or maybe hopefully to to move a step further into the premier league who knows so yeah Ibu adams is having a big impact since moving to derby and um like i always say about him he's a player who needs minutes who needs time he needs to be on the pitch every single time that's when you can get the best out of him and now we can see in every game coming um he is growing in confidence he's getting better and better he's you know his fitness level is is going up and derby fans are really enjoying having him in their team um uh, as we are in england um wrexham they played against Notts county in the in in league two or uh, uh in in league two that is the fourth tier of english football yeah that's the fourth tier of english football where of course wrexham we have jacob mendy playing there um jacob mendy uh, he played 11 minutes. This is the first time he played more than 10 minutes since he, since he came back from the African Cup of Nations. I think this is the fifth game they played and this is the first time he go beyond the 10-minute mark, which is a positive sign, I would say, because since he came back, he was only getting cameo appearance. This time they won 1-0 against Notts County. Notts County, of course, they just signed a Gambian player very recently, Alassana, Alassana Jata, um, who was waiting for his visa. Fortunately for him, the visa, everything is settled. He was in the, uh, like he traveled to the club this week, did his medical, um, uh, over the weekend, did his medical. I believe he was also in attendance in this game, Rexham against Notts County. He could not help his team because he was not in the squad. But yeah, Rexham came out on top, which means they are now back into, you know, third place in, uh, in, in, in League 2. They had a, a troubling time in the, in the past few games, but now they are back in form, winning their last two games. Ibu Ture and his club, Stockport, they lost again. They lost heavily this time, 4-0. 
um, which was a big loss. Ibu Tredid came on in the second half, played the second 45 minutes. The first half were 1 0. The second half, they considered three goals, which was not a, a good sign. Stockport remain maintained their top spot. They are still at the top of the league, league, league two, but in the past few few games, they have been struggling a little bit. Elsewhere in the in League two, Seru Khan came back from his suspension over the midweek because of you know accumulation of yellow card. He played 90 minutes for Swindon, but unfortunately, he could not help them. They, they lost the game to uh um they lost the game two one and said you can got another yellow card um, but hopefully he will not have to face another ban or before the season end Mo Fall also played a very brief cameo for Walsall they won their game um he played just about two minutes in that one they lost the game um now we move to Italy Ibrahim Adabo Ibrahim Adabo um who's also on loan with uh Sampdoria former club of Captain Omar Kohli um, um he 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 started a game for him for, for them and um created a goal for them this was the first goal involvement that he had since he moved to Sampdoria he created a very good assist a big chance he created for Kasami um Kasami I I'm I'm sure some of you guys may remember him when he was his time with his time in Fulham he was in Fulham in the Premier League and scored one of the best goals you will ever see in the Premier League <laughs> um if I haven't seen that goal that Kasami scored in the Premier League which is considered one of the greatest goals goals in the Premier League, you should go and check it. Yeah, Ibi Dabo assisted him. That's what, what I'm here to talk about. Ibi Dabo assisted him um, for for their goal. They, are, they, they opened the scoring 1-0 before Brescia equalized to make it 1-1. Um, Sampdori are having a troubling time. Uh, Andre Pillo, uh, he's the coach of the team. His club is having a very trouble. I think they only won one game in the last eight matches. Hopefully, Ibrahim Adabo coming in can help them avoid that double relegation. Because last season, they were in the Serie A. They got relegated to Serie B. And now, they are just close to that relegation spot again. I think they are just one position from the relegation spot, which will be like, um, <laughs> which will be really, really bad for the club if they were to gain uh, get this relegation on last season and then further get relegated to 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 Serie C in the in the subsequent season that would be that would be that would be very 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 bad for the club but Ibi Dabo yeah he was like the assist I love it because of the way he created the chance the way he waited for the for his man to make the run and then place plate it on and place it on a silver plate for him it was just for Kasemi to come and finish that goal and exactly that's what he did it was a good chance created um Ibi Dabo play, ended up playing just under 70 minutes 69 minutes of course he is coming back from a very long time injury like fitness level might not be up to the level that he would wish it, it it should be but yeah it's good to see him starting week in week out for Sampdoria since he moved to them and then next uh Serie C Vachos Verona um CSCB who has been in exceptionally good form of late they drew 1-1 and CSCB of course was in the sticks was between the sticks again um considered one goal they drew 1-1 he could not do much about the goal I had to you know check the highlights of the game to see um what he did and all those kind of things before i come and talk about it but yeah his form he has been in exceptional form for for the club in this month like as he made three as three, three penalty saves in, during the month he created a goal kept kept a couple of clean sets for them yeah you cannot ask for more from your goalkeeper um uh, yeah and next we move to France. France, uh, we start in League Two. Grenoble Foot. Grenoble Foot were in action. Um, they lost their game. Bambalai, uh, Abdai Sanyang, who has been, you know, in and uh, in uh, in and out of the team. Um, in terms of starting, I think this was his eighth start. Um, of the league season, Seko Tredid came on in the last 12 minutes or so to play a few minutes in that one. And um, in League One, of course, we don't. Um, we have uh, Adam Abojang. Um, he did not come off the bench this time for start the rem. Abla Jalo is still nursing his hamstring injury that he, you know, that he um, got during the African Cup of Nations in the Gambia game against Cameroon. So he's not yet back for for Mets. And elsewhere, um, um, what what uh, Bordeaux? Bordeaux. We have the young young boy uh Fan Sunjai he was on the bench for them again but he did not come on this time and next we move to the Dennis League the Dennis League just resumed um uh, usually their league starts around this time and um uh, well the second half of their league starts around this time Swedish League starts this time actually the Swedish League is about to start next month which I will come to later yeah the Dennis League was back um 
Hamza Badi and Veje, they were play, they were in action. They play against Aros and they lost. Out, they drew the game zero zero. Hamza played ninety minutes. Um, uh, Juara came off the bench for a brief cameo in the second half. Veje, they are also struggling. They are second from bottom in the table. Um, but the good thing is, um, the relegation in Denmark is not like automatic relegation so you have to occupy like the bottom half of the league will play a kind of a league a second half league and then the top half of the league will play kind of a league and then from there it is decided which team is going to get relegated um audience were also in action they won their game um Two two one, but Alassane Mane and James Gomez, who they just signed recently, they were not involved in the squad for that one. Um, Sweden, I was talking about Swedish league. They just resumed. Um, they just started the new season. Um, the new season with the cup. They usually start with the cup. Um, with their cup competition, the Svenska Svenska Cup. Um, where you know, of course, the cup, the the first division and the second division team, they come together and then they create groups. Along with the lower leagues in Sweden, and then they have a you know group competition where the top of each group, eight groups at this moment, at this stage, at least at this stage, um, eight groups, the eight groups, the top team of each group will qualify for the quarterfinals of the Svenska Cup, and that's what what um, they have started. The league will start next month, end of next month, that's the end of March. The Swedish pro league proper will start. Not coping, um, where we have Jesper Sisse. Uh, they were playing too in the cup. They wo they drew one one. Jesper did came off the bench, uh, played a, about thirty minutes of that one, and then um, in the same group as Nordkoping, Cyrus they also played and they won. Now Cyrus are at the top of that group. Cyrus, do we have a young prospective Gambian player playing there? Malcolm, Malcolm Jeng, um, eighteen year old. Uh, he's possible half Gambian, half Swedish. Um, he's a just a chance of him representing the Gambia, so he's somebody we need to keep an eye on. He was on the bench. He didn't he didn't play, but he was on the bench for them. And then Mayalbi, the last one, Mayalbi. We know Abdullah Mane, Walidan player, former Walidan player, moved to Mayalbi, and on a three and a half years deal, and um, he made his debut for Mayalbi in this cup competition. Mayalbi was a quite interesting game because Mayalbi were losing. 2-0 um, and then you know they had to claw it back and win the game 3-2. Abdullah Ab 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 Mane did came on for the last 30 minutes of that one and then made his debut for the Swedish team. And next in Switzerland, um, Switzerland young boys, young boys that's the team we have there. We have uh, Sedu uh, Se uh, Janko and uh, and uh, um, Koli, uh, Ibrahim Koli playing for, for young boys. Both of them were on the bench for, for, for the Swiss outfit this weekend. Um, they won the game 1-0 um, and maintained their spot at the top of the Swedish, Swiss league with six points gap. Um, the defending champions, of course, um, there's a chance, of course, they, they might do the the back-to-back -back, uh, league, league titles because they are kind of, you know, cost uh, like they they are kind of running away with the league at the moment because yeah the gap is quite huge six is not too much but um i think it's significant enough to for them to you know hang on there Croatia Babu Karfal uh he he scored his fifth goal for Origin um of the season the second division of of, of the uh Croatian league he opened the score in the 7th minute and then that game ended 2-2 and then in Turkey, uh, basic tasks were in action. Uh, Omar Koli, Captain Omar Koli, returned for them. Um, he was injured f after returning back from the African Coalition. He played one game and then, you know, got injured again. Uh, so he returned to, to the lineup for basic tasks this weekend. They won 2-0. Help them keep the clean sheet. And um, now basic tasks sit fourth in the Turkish league. Um, yeah, occupied one of the European sports. Uh, also in Turkey, uh, Ankara Gucu, they had a very difficult weekend. They lost against Galatasaray. Of course, playing against Galatasaray is never easy. They are the top of the league and, you know, they are one of the biggest clubs in, in Turkey. So it's never easy playing against them. But Galatasaray won against Ankara Gucu 3-0. Uh, Ali Sow did play that one, played the 90 minutes in that game. Uh, moving to Israel, uh, uh, Bubakar Tamberu. Bubakar Tamberu... Uh, recently moved to Hapoel Tel Aviv. Um, um, he made his home debut for them in the uh, weekend game, coming off the bench um, to make his make, make his debut in a game that ended 0-0. And Abubakar Bari, who plays in the second year of the Israel League, Abubakar Bari is uh, uh, Hamza Bari's younger brother. 
uh, Bina Yehuda. He plays for Bina Yehuda and his club are doing pretty well because they sit second in the second division of the Israeli league and they are on course to gain promotion to the fourth division of fourth division league. And um, they, they 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 won their game this weekend. Um, um, they won their game this weekend 2-1 and uh, Barry scored again, uh, which is his third goal in the last four games. He scored an exceptional goal two or three games ago where he run with the ball the length of the pitch and then, you know, buried the ball. And he he, he cannot stop scoring. Um, he, this is his third goal in his last four games. It's only one game that he failed to score. Saudi Arabia too, they were back this weekend. Um, Badamoshi uh, played for his club Al-Hazem. They lost um, 3-1. Badamoshi did help with creating the goal they, they scored because they took the lead early on before the opponents um, uh, uh, turned the result around and then they lost it 3-1. But Amosi got the only assist in that one. Um, then we look at in... in, 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 in uh, we look at in Bangladesh. Bangladesh... Um, Paumar Babu Lampard, uh, that one is our brother. <laughs> is our brother Paumar Babu Lampard? He plays for Fortis in uh, in the in the in the Bangladesh League. Uh, he used to be there with you know Guy Rajuf. Um, Guy are now not playing there. I don't know. Um, yeah, Paumar was on the score sheet again. He started goal for them uh, this season. He's having a pretty good season and captain in the club. Uh, I believe he moved there last season. And um, he's doing pretty well there. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully uh, he will have a very good season and then, you know, take the next steps. Palmer Babu, he's a very good player. I know him very well. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And final, uh, Tanzania. In Tanzania, uh, Al uh, uh, Azem, we are also in action this weekend. Um, Jibril Silla. Jibril Silla scored another goal. Um, it's been a while since we heard about Jibril. Uh, I don't know if he had an injury or what, but um, uh, he was not very much involved in the in the in the past few games. So he was not involved in the goal. Sometimes it's difficult to get the update when it comes to the in Tanzanian league or the African leagues because sometimes you just see the goal update that is the player who scored. You don't know who is in the lineup and all what not. But yeah, Jibril Silla was back in the goals for them. Scored another goal. Um, uh, Azam now sits second in the in the in the league table in the in 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 the. And in the Tanzanian League, guys. Yeah. That's it, guys. That was the weekend recap. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Um, not a lot of action this week. Um, not not the most exciting weekend for Gambian players, I would say. But still, there were some, you know, some so, so, some 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 good takes that I've not even mentioned. Uh, Noha Songosan back his club. They also won three one. He was in the team. Yeah, um, uh, so nothing significant there. They won. That's the significant part of it. And um, he played ninety minutes. But yeah, he did not get the clean sheet. He did not get the goals or stuff. But yeah, not the not the most exciting week, like I say, for Gambian foreign based players or Gambian professional players. But I hope you enjoy the, the 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 content. If you do, guys, like I say, please give us a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to the Yellow Football Banter by YouTube channel. Um, until we come your way again, guys. Ciao. Goodbye.